But is there a post credit sequence hinting at what else could be coming? The Nun 2 extends The Conjuring franchise once further. The second film in the prequel series The Nun launched in 2018, the ninth Conjuring Universe chapter. The Nun 2 delivers a mostly self-contained tale while bringing back well-known characters to fight the demon nun known as Valak. However, as the 2023 horror film is a part of a long-running series, references to the past and a hint to the future are expected. The Conjuring films have a long history of teased spectators with potential future directions for the series. Hollywood's preoccupation with franchises has forced studios to spend more than 10 years teaching fans to watch for post credit scenes. The superhero genre has dominated this tendency, although The Conjuring series has occasionally demonstrated a propensity to use tag sequences as well. The bulk of films in the universe don't have post credit sequences, since The Curse of La Llorona only had a brief audio tease and Annabelle, creation is the sole chapter with a genuine credit scene. However, there is a chance that The Nun 2 will have a post credit sequence. There is a post credit scene in The Nun 2. There is no question about The Nun 2's post credit sequence. By the time the film is over, viewers are given to the entire account of Sister Irene and Sister Deborah battling the demon Valak. However, The Nun 2's end credit sequence was made possible by the wider franchise intentions for the Conjuring universe. Audiences won't have to wait long to witness The Nun 2's mid credit sequence because it occurs in the middle of the credits. After the final credits roll, there isn't another scene, but viewers can hang around to see a list of everyone who contributed to the film. Is the post credit scene in The Nun 2 worth the wait? It is safe to say that the after credit sequence in The Nun 2 is well worth the wait. Although the mid-credits tease is brief and a little ambiguous, it still gives a hint as to where the Conjuring universe is headed. Make sure you do not miss the mid-credits sequence if you have been a fan of the franchise for the past 10 years and are excited to see further episodes. If this happens, devoted viewers could not know what will happen in the upcoming Conjuring films and spin-offs. The mid-credits scene in The Nun 2 is explained, the Warrens come back. After The Nun 2 ends, a surprise sequence features Ed and Lorraine Warren who are once again portrayed by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. The brief sequence features a return appearance by the original Conjuring franchise stars. The Connecticut House of the Warrens is featured in the first picture, along with a shot of their mailbox. Someone yells Mr. Warren when the phone starts ringing because it is for him. The scenario continues with Ed Warren taking Father Gordon's phone call. The Warrens have been contacted by the priest once more to request assistance with yet another paranormal activity. Another way the series firmly links itself to the main Conjuring movies is the appearance of Ed and Lorraine Warren again in The Nun 2's post credit sequence. By incorporating scenes from the first The Conjuring, the first The Nun featured a reference to the Warrens at the very end. The Warrens and Sister Irene's tales are now once again implied in The Nun 2, however it's unclear exactly what it implies for the future. What movie does the end credit scene of The Nun 2 set up? When The Nun 2 occurs in the Conjuring chronology makes the Warren link a little less evident, and the end credit scene's contents are hazy as well. Audiences may wonder if the sequence is preparing the Warrens for their battle with Valak in The Conjuring 2, their involvement in The Nun 3, or their relative sister Irene and Lorraine Warren cooperating in The Conjuring 4. Although a link to The Conjuring 2 would make sense, The Conjuring 4 is presently the official next installment in the franchise. It is more likely that the situation is set up for The Conjuring 4 in the post credit sequence of The Nun 2. The mid-credits clip is a chopped scene from The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It, not new video shot for The Nun 2. The edited video was used in the promotion for the third Conjuring movie, and the director, Michael Chaves, acknowledged on Twitter that it was a part of a different conclusion. Whether the scenario will still occur in The Conjuring 3 or whether it will be moved into the past to explain why the Warrens attended Frenchie. Morris's exorcism in The Nun 3 is uncertain at this time. The Nun 2's mid credit sequence brings up The Conjuring 4, which is the safer guess given that it has been confirmed to happen. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.